Hi, and welcome to the Nez Perce Clearwater National Forest. I'm Ranger James, and we're here at the Lolo Pass Visitor Center. Today I have with me Jeff Carty, director of the West Central Montana Avalanche Center. Jeff, can you briefly talk about the opportunity afforded to backcountry users with a system like this one? Yeah, definitely. Um, a Beacon Park is a, is a great resource because uh, the beacon is one of the most important pieces you've got for backcountry safety. If somebody you're with gets buried, you need to be able to find them. So it's not good enough to just have a beacon. You need to know how to use it and you need to have that automatic. You don't want to be thinking about how to do a search when you're in an emergency situation and somebody that you're with is buried. Having the opportunity to use a beacon park like this one, switch on multiple beacons and do multiple searches in a short uh, period of time really helps us get practiced with our beacon um, and have that be a skill that is um, automatic. That's really what we need if we're going to be safe in the backcountry and be able to rescue our partners if they do get buried in an avalanche. The West Central Montana Avalanche Center and the West Central Montana Avalanche Foundation provide beacon parks for recreationists to practice on in four locations throughout the forecast area. Lost Trail Ski Area, Lolo Pass, Snowball, Ski Area, and outside the Drift Riders Warming Hut in the Sealy Lake Zone. West Central Montana Avalanche Center provides forecasts for backcountry recreationalists to inform themselves on avalanche conditions throughout our forecast area, which ranges from Lost Trail Pass in the south to north of Sealy Lake in the north. If you are recreating in the backcountry, whether it's on skis, or snowboard, or a snowmobile, please look at our forecast at missoulaavalanche.org. Let's take a look at the Beacon Park and see how it works. First, turn on the station. Then flip one or more switches to activate the signal from the buried transmitters. Next, search for the target using your beacon. The station emits a signal when a probe strikes the buried 20 inch by 20 inch target. Please leave the transmitters buried and turn off the system when finished. Jeff, thank you for being here. You can check out the Beacon Park here seven days a week at the Lolo Pass Visitor Center. Tune in next time where we'll be diving into another topic here on the Nez Perce Clearwater National Forest. <laughs> you are so mean, aren't you? I know you guys.